Okay, Scratchers, yes, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to carry on with the Scratch tutorials. So, last time we did getting started, and then we animated a name. Today we're going to do Imagine If. I don't know what this one's going to do, this is the first time I'm trying it out, so, yeah, <laughs> we can go through it together. So, first I want us to type in what we wanted to say. Okay, so let's have a hello. And then they say, have another block. And then here they just give, imagine if. Okay. And then we also have dots. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Alright. Then we go to the next one, and then we must add, and they just want us to add the, the green flag then. And then, so hello, imagine if. And then it's that. And then we must choose a backdrop, okay? So let's choose a... Wait, no, we're choosing a sprite, sorry. So the backdrop is there, we just click on that button. Here it shows us all the different types of backdrops you can get. And everything, I think. I'm going to take this castle one, because it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks nice. So I'm just going to take the castle one. It's just gonna be hello, imagine if. Okay, then the next one, then they want us to choose another sprite. So this is gonna be a lot. Um I don't think we should choose that many sprites, I'm not sure. Probably choose a character. Let's go fantasy. Sento, I like this. I've never tried some of these costumes and they look quite interesting. Um so I guess I guess I'm gonna take the same tool. Okay. Now what do they want us to do? Okay. okay. The same tool is very big as you can see. So what you can do is uh, make it smaller. I mean, instead of going to its costumes and making it smaller, and its costumes because there's a number of costumes. Okay. That looks quite interesting there. Haven't tried it out. I, I'm like I'm still new to Scratch 3.0. Like I used uh, this, like the assets, like I can still code like normal, but I mean, so they normally have the sound pop is always here. Okay, it also has not. Let me click on audio. Cool. All right. So then apply to random position. I'm gliding one second to random position and remember why it's it, right? we wanted to make it smaller. So here we can just set size to 50%. Okay, that's a bit very small. So let's do 75% or something. Yeah, I think that's big enough. And then Alright. And then they want us to choose another sprite. Okay. Um I still go with this theme, fantasy. Uh, let's have a griffin. I don't know. It looks cool. It's big as well. So I think here we will also do that same thing and save it to five. So here we will make the griffin to turn left and right. All right. So when clicked. Okay, we'll just make it set size to that, okay. And then when right and left arrow pressed, when right and left arrow pressed, then we just do this thing, the change X. So we now I'm just making it move. So always with X, then you want like X is uh, Right to the right is always positive, and to the left it's always negative. So let's also remember that. And we can just clean up the blocks, and yeah, then, now that looks quite boring, right? So I also just thought we just do that. It'll look cool as well. <laughs> Doesn't look as <laughs> cool, but yeah, I mean it works. Okay, wait, let, let's also just try and add a certain thing like, um, 
And then what we can also do, we can also just have something that says it faces the other direction, okay? So if we look here, then it should be point direction 90, when right arrow, and then point direction minus 90. And then what was also remember to set, the rotation style has to be left to left and right. Yeah, <laughs> it's it. Yeah, <laughs> we're not making like the best project ever, but yeah. Okay, so now we can make it move up, up and down as well. Um, I'm not sure if they want it to be the same sprite. I think we can use a different sprite. I like the idea of using a porcupine. It's, it's cute. Okay. So let, let's go find a porcupine. Um, should be under animals. Porcupine is an animal, right? Girl. Um, yeah, let, let's go to the hedgehog. We can use a hedgehog and then we just make it move up and down. Keep it the same size. Uh, so when, like generally, I don't like to use this method of moving, but it helps. It, it you can use it. It works. So <laughs> um, there's a reason why. I, I might do another video on that. I think I've I spoken about it before in one of my previous videos, uh, where I test out Scratch 2.0, the 3.0 for the first time. Um, down you minus 10 and up. You plus 10. Alright. And then we can go up and down. Because like there's this lag between when when you switch. But there's 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 something else that you can also use to make it go faster. But we won't use that in this video. Okay? Change costumes. Technically we already do this, did this, but uh Let's just make it, if you click on the this guy, then it then will change costumes. Just because we can. I don't, I don't want to create another costume. <laughs> Too lazy. Alright. Um, switch to center A. Then wait. You know what? Let's, let's, you can do that. It's quite simple to do that. But let's 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 switch to Centaur. Let's just make it switch to the next costume because there's more than just two costumes. Okay, wait. Now if we uh, okay if if <laughs> okay, but in any case, I like all right. I like that one. Yeah. So if we click space, <laughs> then let's go random. Place. All right. Then in the next one, glide to a point, specific point. Okay, let's yeah, let's make the earth do that. Earth, but I don't know where we're gonna find it. Right? Hmm, I think we're just gonna have to search through all of these. There we are. We found earth, and then we're just gonna say every time when it's clicked, it goes to zero, zero, which is like the center. Okay, and then we glide it to uh, a position. So we can glide to random position, or we can glide it to mouse, or any of the other sprites. But let's make it glide to what they say here, 120, okay, and then negative 40. So if we do that, the earth will glide every time to that position. Alright, and then when sprite clicked, and then it changes its side. They use these drums, so I'm gonna use them too. I'm just gonna use the same things that they're using. This one. Um, when sprite clicked, then we're gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna make it repeat two times, and then we're gonna set size 
with the listing 125 this is not how I would normally do it actually but I'm gonna do it the way they say because um, what you could also do is just like change size by 10 and then change the size by minus 10 and then you have the sound lay in between um, But I think like for because it's like quick quick, then we, we can use this. <laughs> I think we'll put that one there. This project is getting weirder and weirder. But like it's just testing out all the set all the different things that they are. Um you choose another backdrop. Okay, oh, they're probably gonna want us to make. Let's keep the fantasy idea. Um, I think I'll take this one. Uh, they're probably gonna want us to now make it switch backdrops. Uh, okay, we don't want. We don't, let's do it at the main thing. So then we're gonna have that. Then it's just gonna switch backdrop to backdrop castle one we, we may switch to castle two first and then we're gonna wait two seconds and then it's like and then it's gonna say let's explore imagine if okay imagine if we I think I'll make it say that <laughs> and then we'll switch to backdrop console one but we want it also I think we want this switch in the beginning imagine if we explore cool and now they want us to add a sound let's add a sound here so it's like normal oh they want us to record one okay imagine if we explore yeah so dramatic <laughs> imagine if we explore <laughs> Not that good, but all right. I'll take it. Okay. What do I, they want us to do? Let play sound recording one. I'm not gonna make it play sound until done. I'll make it play recording one. Imagine if we explore. <laughs> it's quite delayed, but it's fine. How about we 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 make it start there. Imagine if we explore. Yeah, it's still delayed, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, more things to try. Oh, so then that's it. All right, we we can actually fix this recording by editing it. You know, we just like take that and then we okay, and then we paste it. We explore. Yes, there we go. And we could just make it play sound meow in the beginning. So cute. Imagine if <laughs> we explore. Uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so here we, we basically just like studied all the different types of things we can use. So we got this bird. All right. And then we can move this thing up and down. And then we got, we can make this go to random places in one second. And if we click on it, it will switch costumes. Click on the, if we click on this one, it will 
make a sound or grow bigger. Which is quite cool. And then we got Earth, which, which when clicked, it goes to that place. But we can make it also go to a random place. Yeah, cool stuff. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because, yeah, that was a nice. We we did another tutorial. You can guys go and try out this tutorial under uh, tutorials on the Scratch editor. I'm using the offline Scratch desktop thing, um, so you can also do this if you want to. You can do it with me, or you can do it alone. It's fine. But yeah, so we have this one. In the next video, we're going to be doing making music. So I'm looking forward to that one because I also like music. So guys, subscribe, smash like. See you guys in my next video.